Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, and today I'm going to be trying another Botanist Alchemy creation. They have done some amazing sauces. I think the very first one I ever tried of theirs was the Tropical Candy, and I have tried a few other ones. Uh, they've kind of gone around to be used. <coughs> this one is a Blueberry Pomegranate Ghost Pepper Sauce. So it's got blueberry, uh, fresh blueberries, fresh pomegranate, ghost peppers. Uh, what else we got in here? Pomegranate. Well, yeah, what was it again? <clears throat> pomegranate molasses, blueberry vinegar, cornstarch, and cane sugar. Okay. Gluten free, vegan friendly. So, there's no vegans in here, so that's a good thing. All natural, 100% uh, natural ingredients, made in Ontario. It's a three chili according to their heat, which says hot, but hard to say exactly what level that would be. It is a small batch, limited edition uh, sauce, so we'll get right into this one and Try some blueberry pomegranate ghost pepper. And there goes the neighbor. <laughs> Everybody has somebody who just likes to speed through their neighborhood. So it's got a Really thin consistency. Ooh. Smell the blueberries. Definitely smell the ghost. Ghost has always got a nice little aroma to it. Nice flavor to it, in my opinion. <clears throat> Ooh. See little bits of everything in it. Blueberries, probably I'm guessing a ghost as well. Now it says a ghost pepper mix, so it might be a mix of a regular ghost. Might be, have some chocolate in there. It might have a few. Hard to say. But it'll always make an interesting combination when you do mix them. So cheers. That's why I know what this tastes like. Ooh, that's good. <clears throat> Wait for it. <coughs> oh, she's got kick. <clears throat> the blueberries hit you right away. A little bit of pomegranate taste in there. Then just kind of sneaking up from the back there against the heat. It's a nice heat, but it, it does just kind of sneak up out of nowhere. Even though I knew it was going to come, I just kind of wasn't expecting the way it came up. <clears throat> Try a little bit more here. See how I can pinpoint that a little bit better for you. Seems to be a slower build, probably because I wasn't expecting it last time. Got a little bit more of a pomegranate taste at that time. <clears throat> but the heat is, it's mellow, but it's got a crawl. I'd probably put that mm, maybe about a two, two and a half. <clears throat> It's there, but it's not going to knock you off your feet. Well, at least not for me. Some people it might. <laughs> Some people black pepper knocks it off their feet, so hard to say. But it's actually really good. I really do like the, the taste in this one. With most of their sauces, they, they do amazing jobs with their sauces. And they're absolutely amazing uh, people to talk to. Talk to them at a, um, a couple of hot sauce festivals. 
Yeah. Oh, the blue word kicked in more that that time. Like, literally, like you're just shoving your mouth full of blue blueberries. Oh. That would actually go really good on some ice cream, or even pancakes. That'd be good thing on pancakes too. <clears throat> yeah, so about a two, two and a half on the heat. Taste wise, I'd probably give that about a seven. It was actually really good. <clears throat> and it's salt free. Yay! Great for uh, blood pressure issues. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good sauce. And definitely one I will try on many things to come. So yeah, so once again, that's the Botanist Alchemy Blueberry Pomegranate Ghost Pepper Sauce. So yeah, if you can get it, try it. Our link will be for the uh, website below. Other than that, enjoy the heat, stay spicy. I'll see you next time when who knows what I'll be trying or who will be trying it with me. I do hope a video upcoming at uh, doing a challenge soon, so keep an eye out for that one.